Welcome back. In this video, we will implement convolutional forward, the entire convolutional part of the uh, con forward part of the convolutional network. So let's define this. So it will take a previous, which is activation of previous layer, weights, bias, and hyperparameters. Hyperparameters will be a list containing stride and padding. So let's just do it with the documentation. Okay. So the documentation itself says that <coughs> parameter a prep is the activations of previous layer parameter we were, we are not interested in all these but we are interested in hyperparameters so it will con it will contain stride as well as padding so first let's uh, just as extract the shape of the previous layer so that is uh, m means the number of training examples height width and number of column which is nc prep and it will be returned by a previous dot shape now let's extract the shape of this weights and then let's extract stride and pad it is in hyperparameter okay so now let's compute the, para the dimensions of the resultant after this forward pass so using this formula of course which is w divided by w or h which is not div division sign it is it means w or h uh, so the w that means width or height of this particular layer will be w or height of previous layer minus filter size that is f plus 2 times padding divided by stride plus 1 so let's do that Let, we have calculated height applying the same formula and the width now let's create the resultant uh, a variable to store the resultant so it will be of size m which the size of m will never change and the channels will not change but the size of height and width will change okay so let's proceed to calculating the actual thing so first let's uh, zero pad the previous layer which means we will zero pad using the, op the function that we have implemented previously we will use this a previous pad and we will pad it right and then we will uh, run the loop for each and every training example that is for i in range m and then oh, let me just turn off my notifications okay right so we will first look at this particular example that is previous pad and then we will run through height width and number of channels so first of all we will loop through height that is number of h and then n w and n c that is number of channels now we first calculate the vertical start so where you want to start from the beginning it, uh, for the first stride it will start at h where h is 0 and then for the next time it, it should start for the next iteration it should start h into stride times so right now h is 0 so it should start from 0 so let's multiply h into stride will result 0 next time stride will be uh, h will be 1 and h into stride will be whatever the stride is if its stride is 1 it will just proceed once if stride is 2 it will proceed 2 so that's it now vertical start uh, and vertical end will be vertical start plus f the size of filter again the same thing with horizontal start how start will be w time start and then how end will be w uh, we'll just add f there okay so previous slice we'll calculate previous slice using previous pad And then we'll update z. <coughs> Sorry, z that we have already initialized to zeros will be updated using this con single. We'll perform convolution on previous slice w times b. In a sense, uh, it is a deconvolutional convolution, but yeah, we will use the convolution operator. This is just a mathematical formula for calculating deconvolutions. So that's it. Okay. Now we'll store this in cache and we'll return cache and z. So that's our forward pass for convolution. So the next thing that we want to implement is pooling. So it is very similar to, uh, well, just reducing the dimensions of our network, of our data. So there are two kinds of pooling that we are going to implement that is max pooling and average pooling. So Let's just implement pool forward. Okay, so first of all, we need this. We'll define pool forward, and this will take a previous as 
convolution f that is filter size the stride and type and i'm defining type to be default as max max pool uh, or you can also write avg for average pool we will define that in the function let's do away with the documentation and yeah let's calculate the resultant dimension using some formulas <coughs> height and width and number of channels will always remain the same so calculate the resultant matrix where we'll store the resultant then loop over the examples that is shape 0 height width and channel again use the same thing calculate vertical stride and horizontal stride again calculate the previous slice and if type is max then use max of a previous slice and then if type is average then calculate the mean so as you can see here we have already calculated this uh, of size f, f into f times this a previous slice and then we will just convert it to one scalar value here okay so we have this now <coughs> We'll just finally store it in a cache and then return it. So this was all that we need for forward pass. So in the next video, we will implement a backward pass and then, uh, well, I don't know what we'll do after that. There are a lot to, there's a lot to do, so stay tuned for the next one.